Hi, welcome to another Excelstat video tutorial. Today, I'd like to show you how to handle high dimensional omics data. Omics data is mostly used in genetics and corresponds, for example, to gene expression measurements. Usually, there are several hundred, if not thousands, of measurements for each individual. The main challenge of this kind of analysis is to identify the small number of genes that actually determines phenotypic traits. In this data set, we've measured the expression of 1,561 genes for 36 individuals. We also have information on the genotype of each individual, as well as his health status, healthy or sick. Let's try to identify if there are some genes whose expression significantly depends on the phenotype and on the health status. To do so, I go to the Laboratory Data Analysis menu and select Differential Expression. Here, the features are in rows and individuals in columns. The explanatory variables are the values of the genotype of each individual as well as their health status. In the Options tab, I choose to run a parametric test to examine if genes are differentially expressed and correct the p-values by the benjamini hochberg method. In the Charts tab, I choose to display the histogram of p-values as well as a volcano plot containing significance thresholds. The first table shows us that no genotype is significant for gene expression in our data set, which is confirmed by the histogram of the p-values where none of them appear to be small enough to be significant. However, the health status does influence the expression of genes T1157.01 and T106.02. The volcano plot enables us to confirm the significance of the expression of these genes regarding the health status because they are outside the significance lines. We may conclude that, out of the overwhelming set of 1,561 genes, only two express themselves significantly regarding the health status of the person. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments section below. Don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel for more statistical tips. Thanks for watching.